Hey everyone, ZeroJD here with the X-Play Fans Channel. I'm here to get a quick taste of Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. It is a D&D &D idol game. Uh, it's not very much of a clicker game like Clicker Heroes because uh, your clicks very quickly don't have an effect that I found that it's a lot better to invest in the uh, idol character, that's to say. I'm starting at the menu because I want to show you like just the normal stuff if you've never played a idle clicker game an idle clicker game is a game that kind of rewards you for not really playing it you're uh you're in charge of a band of heroes uh as you play uh they progress and uh when you're not playing they keep progressing and as you can see i've been offline for about six hours and i got 23.6 trillion gold that sounds like a lot but that's mostly so i can upgrade characters and stuff like that so i have all these people here uh, and I've been upgrading them and using them to just get through these quests. So I'm going to keep hitting upgrade for this. Uh, unlike uh, other idle games, and for people who played idle games, you usually know you can do like level up once, 10, 25, stuff like that. This one has a thing where you can actually level to next upgrade. So we're going to go to him and him. And now he has all these other stuff because he's a ranger. So he has to pick his favorite enemy. We're almost done with this thing, so it doesn't really matter. Open up our mage. Keep going. And I like kind of like to go through sequentially, and that's just me, though. So we're going to collect all the goodies and just keep on moving. So uh, one thing that this does game does do that I really like is if I hit A. Oh, not on him, though. Uh, I hit A. It actually shows green lines where people are getting buffs from that character or where she is imparting buffs. So this character is actually increasing everyone's damage uh, by 200%. But if you see in the bottom left here, it says increased damage of adjacent champions. So that's really f cool here because that's a, an additional fun little uh, piece of strategy where your positioning is very important. Uh, standard stuff, top left gold, uh, then DPS. Torm is essentially a in-game currency that you use to upgrade like passive stuff like hey an extra one percent of damage all that kind of stuff middle is hey how many sections are in this area this one actually has 50 levels and we're burning our way through it right now uh the right stick allows me to go backwards or just leave a lot of progress on upper right is my current goal uh the which is not the overall go goal it's just the goal for this one like this is for level 47 uh, below that is actually a current uh, weekly buff because the game's new, so uh, the basic characters are getting a buff, which I can show you off in a second. But uh, back to the normal thing, your characters are slowly progressing, and as you can see here, I can upgrade them so they can do more damage on all that kind of stuff. So right now, per hit, he does 321 quintillion damage. Number sounds crazy, but some of the guys have crazy amounts of health. Like, like I'm they're being hit for like a trillions of damage and it's not doing them until they get to the quintillions. It's, uh, it's not super important. Uh, just make the number go higher is essentially what you want to do. Hold on. We've got to wait till them progress. And of course, as you level them up, they get different buffs. Uh, their stats increase, of course, or mainly they do mainly more damage. Uh, you get uh, uh, abilities and stuff like that. I have uh, armor and pieces of equipment. I'll get into that later. Uh, the incoming abilities is actually the abilities that he's getting from other people. The uh, outgoing ones are the ones he's giving empowering to people. The upgrades, this is what happens as you upgrade him, and these go up, and these reset when you beat a uh, event, which I'll explain again later. And of course, up here, everyone has their own kind of abilities and stuff like that. And those are really fun to use on a boss to just kind of DPS them down. So pretty standard for a, a clicker game. If you played clicker heroes, uh, there's that. And of course, you have your own like level up your thing. But I found it far more efficient to level these guys up. I can hit B and it does a little bit of damage. Once in a while at the top, you'll see like a crow or something fly past. If I hit like right trigger in the corresponding button, they get shot down and I get a little bit extra money. Because as you can see, we are just, just destroying as of right now. So here I have my inventory, but there's a shop. Hitched Friends is a the uh, the buff for the weekend and celebrate console condition uh, thing. It's got chests and stuff, daily logins, stuff like that. 
So let's go quickly to my inventory. I have like these gems, which I use as the in-game currency to buy chests and stuff like that. And then it just uh, consumable items and stuff like that. So let's go to the shop and I've actually been saving them for you guys because I wanted to show them off. I forgot, I have to actually highlight it then hit A. So we're gonna go buy a gold chest. We're gonna buy one of them. So we're gonna open it up. Go to, back up. Go to my, don't care. Go to my, see now that we're, see, I thought it was gonna be smart to show it off when I was overpowered, but now I don't get to do anything. Go to the inventory. Well, we'll, we'll open it later. So we're at the boss now, and they're gonna keep on smacking along. So let's go ahead and use a fan of knives. The guy who uses it will throw out some knives and insta kill that guy because we are awesome. So uh, this event was rated easy, essentially, and the only reason I didn't really finish it last night because it was 1 a.m. So we're gonna complete this and it's gonna tally up our rewards and stuff like that. So we're gonna complete the adventure. And you get this little cutscene with three people. I don't know who they are, but it's gonna give me, uh, the only thing that really carries over is Torm's favor, favor and uh, any passive buffs you unlock and stuff like that, which I, again, I will explain again later. So I've uh, unlocked imps and stuff like that. We're gonna go and do a free play thing. Uh, for, you can turn to already start the horizon bit. You can now start adventuring the tomb. The camp unlocks new adventures in all maps. So that's the tomb. All right, so I have different deities and stuff like that. Don't care. Tomb of Annihilation, complete 50 areas. But I, I'm gonna do this so we can, I have some time to talk. So these are the different events and stuff like that. You unlock them as you go. I have, where is it? Free play. So it's gonna just be that area. Where is it? Maddening, there you go. We'll do that. We'll just do this so we can kind of let it go. Uh, so I'm gonna pick him up, move him forward, and he's just gonna kind of go without me really doing anything. And I, this, since it is early, I can help, but I wanna show this off to you. So we're gonna open our chest here. And I got some gear, it'll auto equip to people. And I got some disposable items. Uh, the shop is, is what you think it would be. You can buy characters and stuff like that. Oop. Uh, for those who wanna buy like characters and stuff like that, they will just be added. And some of them are alternate characters for, or alternate skins or replacements. As you can see down here, I do have these guys, but let's say I wanna have, if I go to details for him, you see over there on the swap character, I can swap it between these two and they're actually different classes and they actually have different stats. I think a lot of these are based on um, friends, D&D characters and stuff of that, of the maker. I know Pro Jared, a popular streamer, has a his D&D character in there. Okay, see so you back, I'm gonna go boop, and daddy goes. Let's go back to the inventory. The familiars, I haven't reached this yet. I'm gonna guess they're just summonable things. Adventures is what I'm doing now. Blessings is what I've been uh, waiting for. So I have 1K of these. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna increase my... Too much. All right, so I'm gonna expand that. So now, so everyone's starting the uh, damage is 100% extra. So, so let's say if someone does one damage per hit, they're gonna start doing two damage per hit right off the bat and stuff like that. So let's do this so we can have people. Yes, because it has not been too hard to get. So we keep moving. Ah, these are just active buffs or like the weekend thing, like I said before. Champions. So as you can see, everyone has their own kind of like uh, primary, their ultimate, and then they have equipment which unlocks and then that's what carries over. Uh, as you can see here, since I've wrote, uh, finished started a new adventure, my upgrades are gone. It's got a little bi biography down there. And then you have all these people and they each have their own crazy abilities and fun stuff like that. And their class, uh, race, sex, age, deity, uh, and what they follow. And of course these are like, these are essentially achievements and stuff like that, which the more you do, the Everything is essentially just, hey, one more percent to champion damage. 
But uh, that's essentially it. It's nothing crazy different than any other clicker. I find it more aesthetically pleasing than any other one, mostly because it's D and D, and that's just kind of from kind of me. So I'm gonna actually recruit her and move her there. But uh, the fun part of it is that the uh, they have the buffs for people in your party in in the area. Uh, this guy right here. One of his buffs is like, hey, he favors hanging out with humans or tieflings and stuff like that. So that'll buff him if he's next to a tiefling or if he's next to a human. This is a tiefling, by the way. But uh, that's really fun. Like this uh, guy here, if anyone's in a column with him, like here, uh, they get a buff. Uh, she later, like this lady uh, later on, if someone's in the column in front of her, she heals them. This one here, if the people are behind her, they he, she buffs them behind them. So it's kind of fun stuff like that, which really makes you kind of think about your party makeup. One of the uh, quests actually had the middle dot uh, taken up by a cart that I had to escort. So that was fun because I had to build my party around it, and it didn't didn't crazily affect it, but it did. There was a significant. Uh, dip in damage but it's the normal thing usually where you're flying through normal enemies and then you get to the boss and the boss takes some time so you go back one level leave it off for maybe an hour or two and then you come back and just like you saw there i absolutely destroyed the guy but i am zero jd this is the x leave xp life fans channel this is idol heroes of the forgotten realm hopefully i've said that forgotten idol champions uh i always get names mixed up but uh so far it has been a lot of fun uh, is he, daily logins are normal and stuff like that. Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realm. Uh, if a character dies, as you can see, that's kind of happening here. Uh, nothing terrible happens. So we'll just upgrade that and she'll be fine. He's got plenty of time. And if I get killed, it just sends me to this previous level. Anyways, I am Sir JD. This is the X-Blade Fans channel. Thank you for, for watching and have a nice day. Check out our other videos and leave a like.